Well, it's now midday, day two. I've just got up again for about the tenth, twelfth time. Well, every half an hour since midnight. But I'm feeling quite refreshed now. I've just had a lukewarm shower down below. And um, we're just over halfway there, which is good. We've done 145 miles and we've got another 130 to go. Um, the wind's back up to 20 knots. We're pushing along at 37 degrees into it. With this swell, I can't really get any higher. The boat just stalls as the waves knock the bow around. But we're pushing along at uh, 6.87 knots. So we're making quite good progress. Almost in the right direction. About 8 degrees west of where we want to be. But um, if the forecast is correct, then it's wind will... Tell you what, if you like your siestas, then this long distance sailing's a game for you. Have a 40 minute sleep about every two hours through the day, and then continually at night, it's great. You get up, do 10 minutes or something, and go back to bed again. Anyway, I've just woken up this time, and uh, the wind's picked up quite a bit. 22, 23 knots, but somehow the sea seems to have flattened off. Not sure what's going on there, but um, the boat's rocketing along. Still 10 degrees off course, but I don't know what we can do about that. It's um, about half three, I think. 116 miles to go. But um, just thought I'd show you this. Bit of Atlantic sailing. Everything's blue. It's been rather overcast for most of the day. My battery banks have only just come back up to nearly full after running the all to helm and the laptop most of the night. I wasn't watching, up watching films all night, but the laptop was on looking out for super tankers. They didn't find any. Well, to be honest, yeah, there were two that went by in the night. Today I've not seen a single thing. A yaw tore a tanker. I've seen two seagulls and one bit of floating wood, which was quite exciting. So it's been quite hard work today really, well it's been quite hard work since dusk last night when this wind got up like this and then the sea slowly built and built and uh, just doing anything down below is quite tricky. Spending most of my time down there as you see down here in the cockpit you get wet quite a lot but we are going straight into the wind here as tight as we can and into the waves. So. This is the, the most awkward point of sailing. Now I'm probably going to reduce the Genoa a bit. We don't need to be pressed over quite this hard. Still got a long way to go. Don't want to break anything. It's half past six, day two, the wind's still blowing 20 knots, the boat's still sailing, We've still got over 100 miles to go, it's a rather lovely, lonely evening out here, it's 
recommended isolation depending on how you look at it. The motion of the boat going through the water, oh, it doesn't look it, it's getting slightly smoother as the wind's been blowing from a flat calm over the last 36 hours or so. The waves now are starting to organise themselves into larger swell waves, set waves, so all the smaller chop is disappearing and we're getting more uniform, large rolling lumps coming through, which Molly Ober can then uh, ride up and over like that one much more smoothly than the smaller lumps that we had about 10 hours ago, or all the way through the night actually. They sort of roll on one of catches up with another one and then they sort of form into large ranks of waves moving forward so the motion of the boat's got a lot better and she's also there going quicker we're doing 6.9 knots now even though the wind's still um, windy the sea's sort of organizing itself and uh, Molly Ober's sailing over the top of it much easier. Well I've just had my dinner. I've got some left over in the frying pan for a midnight or three o'clock feast whenever I get hungry again. And uh, I just thought I'd come out here and catch the last of the sun. Ooh. side I spent a lot of time just before we left actually arranging the weight in the in the boat I showed you the um, the uh, new anchor chain delivery which takes the anchor off the bow there and the chain and sort of lets it slide back another meter and a half further back in the boat so that all that weight isn't sitting right in the bow so once you say that the nose doesn't dig in, you know, the weights further back, I rearranged the sails and I also took some old chain out of the um, aft cockpit back here and put that into the um, space in and around the shower and the toilet so that when she does nosedive like that, you know, the bow and the stern doesn't seesaw so much anymore. You'd have to know the boat quite well, but I can see the difference. Anyway, I appreciate doing all that now, because I'm getting a much smoother ride across these waves. Okay. Holding on. Um, having a great time, actually. Really enjoying it. Got pretty tired in the middle of last night, but that's sort of to be expected. Uh, sort of got my sleeping routine sorted out now. Basically, I just go and lie down whenever I can, whenever I feel tired, grab 40 minutes, and as long as the boat doesn't demand my attention, I sort of stay down there that long and uh, just do that often. Magnificent night last night. Way, just right across the from side to side. Um, it really was quite a beautiful evening. Not that I spent much time out here looking at it. It was quite wet across the decks. As you can see, sailing like this, we get uh, quite a bit of spray across the deck. So I've sat up on one of those little seats there, up on, up on the top side here usually stay out of the worst of it. Here's a biggie! Whee! So yes, uh, 106 miles to go and the wind is bending in my favour all the time according to the forecast two days ago anyway. So might revise my uh, ETA from 2 o'clock to uh, midday, midday tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, talk to you again later.
Well, good morning. Um, it's quarter to four Monday morning, and um, just been out on deck. Had to um, reef the Genoa about two hours ago, and then unfurl it again just now. Uh, wind got up to 23 knots, and then dropped back down to 18 knots. So had to adjust the sail and the speed and point the boat slightly further north uh, Madeira is due north of me now and the wind is slowly bending but very slowly we're still not quite going where we should be um, I'll show you I oh, don't know how to switch this camera around on this anyway so the red moving red arrow is me. I'll do that properly later when I can see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, quiet night really. Spent from sort of eight o'clock till two o'clock in here, sleeping and watching a bit of film, um, and out on deck twice. Quite a nice sunset this evening. Joined by some dolphins, who sort of jumped once at the bow but then they seemed to make a game and they all crowded right at the back of the boat right underneath the the rudder and they seemed to be trying to touch the rudder with their noses uh, I've never seen that before but there was like four or five of them all swimming like crazy and within inches of the back of the rudder as if that was the game was to try and sort of a game of dare to touch the rudder very odd and then they swam away but a very pleasant evening. I've just had my second dinner at half past three in the morning. Keep me going. And I'm going to get my head back down now and um, get some more sleep. You know, I've just been out. I can see Madeira. It's only 56, mile, 56 miles away now. And uh, there's just a dim light sort of ahead of me. And strangely enough, I could smell it. Um, as soon as I stuck my head out of the hatch, I could smell something. And then I looked round and there was a glow. 56 miles away so we could be there in 10 hours if we could point straight at it and um, had a bit more wind but as I'll show you in a moment we're not quite pointing where we should be but uh, I'll show you that now okay so the moving red dot at the bottom is me and where I'd like to be pointing is the blue line that's going straight to Funchal on the south of Madeira there uh, and the red line on the far right would have been my original track if I'd come in a straight line straight from Lanzarote but because of the wind I couldn't but if you see my boat direction is actually starting to move towards the blue line which is good um, well there you go it's off again so we're making some ground towards it if I scroll that down You see there's my red line for the last few hours, I've still been heading away from Madeira uh, but now we're just starting to come onto that blue line and that's 56 miles in its straight line so that'll be good going. Right well I'm going to get a few more catnaps in and uh, see what the daylight brings. Good night or good morning if you're just getting up. Good morning, the good ship Molly over, and boy is she a very good ship. It's uh, half past eleven Monday morning, and that there in front of us is Madeira, and more specifically is Funchel on Madeira, right on the nose. So the wind did what it was supposed to do, and it's been bending all night. Um, the waves have flattened off since we've got closer in land here, we're slightly in the lee. And Molly Over's pointing right at the waypoint, which is great. We're still 18 miles to go. But um, yeah, very pleased with that. Uneventful night. Apart from me watching a film called The Boat That Rocks. 
which is about the pirate radio stations on a boat off England in the 70s, which sinks at the end of the film. A bit unnerving when you're down below and your boat's rushing across the, the sea in the darkness and nobody on lookout. Had I have known that, I wouldn't have watched the film, but there you go. So yes, um, very pleased with that. Madeira. Just going up for two o'clock, Monday afternoon, day three, and we're about four miles off now in the wind shadow of these mountains. We were sailing hard right up until about 20 minutes ago and then nothing. So uh, pop the engine on just to get in. And this is the south coast of Madeira. You're looking at uh, Funchal straight ahead, I don't know what the rest of it's called, but uh, very impressive sort of valleys and cliffs. And I'm looking forward to uh, a cold beer and a long sleep. Anything for more than 40 minutes would be uh, really appreciated. That's the other bit of the island there, the furthest east coast, and then over here two more islands, uh, nature reserves apparently, you need to get a permit but they're given away and then you can go and explore those. So what a trip, been brilliant, everything's worked well and um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, thanks for being with me, it's been nice talking to you, hope I haven't rabbited on too much but uh, I haven't spoken to anybody in three days, so it's nice to sort of chat to somebody. Good. All right. See you later.